Hello wonderful people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm about to do a fragrance review, more like a full-on review. I have done initial impression back in 2017 or 18, I don't remember. And that time I did review on Creed Viking from this beautiful little sample that I bought from USB page. I still have significant amount of juice left. Uh, this was, uh, I think, Im imported from UK. So when it came out, I was very, very uh, excited, Creed Viking. And this was actually getting a lot of hype in the community, a lot of reviewers are talking about it. People are excited because since the, you know, release of Crazy Aventus, they wanted to, you know, find glory in another one. None of the Creed fragrances got as much love as Creed Aventus got. So I have that uh, older style bottle. I kept a little bit juice left. I used the heck of it. Uh, you know, like I have known Aventus for a very long time. Uh, sadly, or <laughs> interestingly enough, enough that Creed by uh, Aventus was not my number one Creed ever. It was always Virgin Island Water or Bois de Portugal or Royal Oud. Those are my favorite Creeds. So today I have, thanks to my brother, who actually provided me with this full-on packaging. It's a 50 ml. I have the full-on presentation and I'm going to do my uh, full take on this Creed's Viking. Is it still nice? The prices have gone down a little bit now. And is it worthy of having? I have the dry down here on the paper for some time. Uh, this... When I tried it at first, it came off as like a seven, seven and a half. It didn't really impress me uh, with the initial blast because uh, the fragrance was a little bit new. And then Creed, Creed, they actually are always challenging. They are never a safe Creed. So let's see what I feel about it today. And uh, thanks my brother for providing me with this beautiful packaging. This is the box. You guys have seen it. I am wearing red. The box is red. And really beautiful presentation. This is the 50 mil version. I think they have now um, 100 ml, 50 ml, and I think there's a big flacon of, uh, I don't know what you call that, uh, the big bottle of 250 ml, perhaps. The back looks like that, very eye-catching red. Nowadays, red is a trend. Baccarat Rouge, if you know, um, fragrances like uh, Versaceros Flame, um, what's the other one from PDM? Uh, Kalan or Kalan, yeah. So those fragrances are all themed red. A lot of red fragrances coming out, but this is released in back in 2017. So let's see presentation don't talk about the smell and everything so they give you when you buy crate be careful you buy crates from they are faked a lot because these are very very, very popular fragrances especially Aventus gets cloned a lot or faked a lot rather so they give you this card even the high high class fakes they will have uh, all these documents but if you buy from legit seller you'll be okay and they give you this long note and stuff you can read up on and the bottle is one of the, my favorite part of the presentation I really love it's Viking bottle. It's really gorgeous. The juice is kind of a yellow, greenish, and then the sticker is there, uh, red. It's a little bit reflective. You can see the boat of old Vikings. It's like going for a war or something. And uh, back, it's a little bit inconsistent. One thing you see this part, stickers usually like are glued to the bottle, but this one, it's a little bit flimsy. You know, like here, it's supposed to stick. It's a little bit annoying. So the consistency of trade packaging. Sometimes the caps are loose. They move around. Um, sprayers are always good, but this kind of small, small detailing, a little bit lacking at times. Uh, the bottom, what you find is uh, Creed made in France. And uh, yeah, here at the back, I was looking for the batch code. You cannot see it, the camera on pickup. And the batch code and lot is, everything's there. Cap is really beautiful. It's orange colored almost, okay? So when you open it, you find the atomizer like that. And let's spray this and talk about it. Creed prayers are always good. I'm sorry, I'm not being able to speak so loud because my tongue, I bit my tongue. So it's kind of like, ah, this side is kind of wounded. So pardon me, I hope you can understand from all the mumbling. So here's the dry down. And let's try this, you know, like this beautiful perfume. I want to do this review from rooftop today, but it's kind of warm, you know, like I'm feeling a little bit sleepy and dizzy. So I'm doing it from home. A spray is really monstrous. Check out the spray. It just shoots like this much, this far and a lot of juice. So. You just need to apply a little bit. Do not go like trigger happy with this, like thinking I need eight sprays to make it last. You need literally three sprays of this. Perhaps one of your neck area, one on the chest, and perhaps one um, somewhere on the shoulder or two sides of your shoulder, four sprays maximum. So this uh, fragrance is really interesting. This, is, this has notes like spices, pink pepper, and then spicy mint. They have notes like lavender, lemon, uh, kind of like, uh, spicy, uh, fresh, woody kind of fragrance. Okay, that's what this they were trying to go for. 
So I said last time I like it, but I do not love it. But over the time, you know, using the sample once in a while, this one, I used to like sniff it once in a while if I want to test. I also have a sample of uh, Creed's uh, origin, uh, Royal Wood. Yeah, Royal Wood, that one is very beautiful, my favorite Creed of all time. So this one reminds me sort of like a Boa de Portugal and Royal Wood a little bit because of the maturity. You know, it has elements of those and not really anything similar to Aventus. So the fragrance is kind of really nice. It smells, uh, it changes. At first it's kind of like lemony, peppery, minty, uh, kind of like a bitter mint kind of a thing. Then it starts changing, it stays fresh, booty, doesn't go super heavy, so it's not really, I think, appropriate for very cold weather. Um, but the transition time, summer to winter, fall, this is gonna be really beautiful. If you're wearing this at work, perfect. It, I can imagine a dude wearing, a teacher wearing this, uh, wearing his tie, white dress shirt, very nice watch, and well done hair, very, very well groomed dude. So this is for very gentlemanly guys, okay? And it has some sort of mas masculinity and modern uh, touches to the fragrance. So this is not like really anything I smell a lot. Doesn't have that many common fragrances, like which is in line with this in designer especially. Uh, some people say one of the fragrances from I forgot, one of the houses I actually talked about it, I think London or one of the fragrances, I think, uh, uh, what, English Laundry? I think one of the fragrances has a little bit similarity to this. So you can try that one, but I think this is much better done. Really, really masculine, really polished and long lasting, very long lasting perfume. But it's not overbearing or over choking. People are not gonna be really bothered. So I think you can wear this for uh, like, you know, let's say you're gonna have a party like at your backyard, you know, in the fall time, really beautiful. And families are gathering, children are playing. It smells very much that kind of affair. And perhaps you can go for a morning walk or the ride by horse, you know, just in the morning. Early morning was a little bit cold. You can smell the trees, you can smell some lemon trees around, kind of like fresh at the same time, some florals, you know, coming up. And a little bit spices, you know, it's like very masculine kind of a fragrance. So the red reminds me sort of like this funny thing that, you know, those movies like um, Mel Gibson did a movie called Patriot, I think. Uh, in those, the British soldiers are wearing all their, you know, their attire and uniform whatever that's that beautiful red color sort of reminds me of those soldiers you know <laughs> like generals army generals so yeah i mean really interesting juice guys very pretty bottle is really nice i think these ones are going for now about 200 something dollars for big bottle 100 100 100 ml yeah this was released at 100 ml this was the new bottle sizes so it's definitely i mean not my most favorite creed i'm not gonna lie to you i still love virgin island water by far i mean i'm if it becomes about comparison, yeah, that's what, it's not fair, but I'm telling you, just to show you, Virgin and Water is my number one creed, and alongside perhaps uh, Royal Wood, those are my favorites, but Aventus is somewhere in top five, Aventus Cologne is way ahead of <laughs> Aventus for me, so this one, it will make my top 10 creeds, if I make a top 10 list, I did once, but if I smell, let's say 20, Creeds. you know this is definitely gonna be in top 10 very nice very fresh you can use it casually semi casual sort of uh, function and it's really nice it's like it makes a statement but it's not very playful or uh, sweet it's not one of those things so this fragrance is a try I'm not gonna say it's a pass or it's like a must buy I really like it a lot you can dress it up dress it down as I told you it smells very handsome in the morning I went for a walk with this it smells really nice in the air projects really, really beautifully. So over Creed Viking, I think uh, I gave it initially seven or something like that, right? In 2017. This one, mm, after wearing it for a few days, and my final verdict on this perfume is I'm giving it a solid 8.5 out of 10. Uh, it's a solid one, not a must. Uh, I would say 10 out of 10, but it's definitely worthy of trying. If you want to get one Creed, this is one of the creeds you can definitely consider if you're starting your Creed collection. Okay, so that is Viking for you. So that's my review. Thanks, Doc, very much for the bottle courtesy. And once again, I'm really sorry, my tongue is uh, really, really hurting because you know I'm like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, I actually did bite my tongue. So everybody have a beautiful day. Winter is coming. Uh, stay, uh, stay classy at the same time. Wait for the winter. Enjoy your cold weather sense. I wish all the best to all of you who are waiting for winter. I'll see you soon. Have a very nice day. Bye-bye.